Hey guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are preserving Masonic history through telling the stories of some of the items that we've acquired over the years. You know, sometimes these things are antiques or heirlooms or whatever the case may be. Today on the program, I've got a little something to show you regarding uh, cups. Now, last week we showed you a beer stein that I had, which is pretty cool. Now, I want to ask how many of you out there have gone to a Masonic festive board where you've received something like this? This one here is from Fellowship Lodge, number 490, and it's just like a shot glass, right? They call them a cannon, and they're heavy base because you slam them down on the table after a toast. And that's pretty cool, right? We've all kind of seen some of these. Those of you who remembered and came out last year to our 300 event for TMR got one of these, which is a much larger version, and... Uh, is really cool. It's our 300 Freemasonry's Legacy, Freemasonry's Future 300, where we had the event at the George Washington Masonic Memorial, which is what is there, the words 300 in the square and compass. So that's a cool one too. Sometimes we get these ones, which are uh, wide brimmed and uh, sometimes a little different, right? Like we got these ones, uh, I want to say I got this one a few years ago at a table lodge at a pyramid house. Uh, here in Illinois. If you're interested in that, I've got some stories for that one too. Maybe another Masonic Curator video. But I have another one that's kind of unique. How about this tin one? This one I got at the Scottish Rite Fall Reunion at the Valley of Chicago commemorating uh, the War of 1812. And uh, this was back in 200, uh, 2015 and uh, it says celebrating 200 years of peace. Um, and it's just a simple tin or stainless steel stein um, it's it's cool but uh, you know it was a really unique gift and uh, we filled it up with some craft beer that year it was pretty fun but the actual item for this week is a different cup I received um, I went to the uh, Bristol Renaissance Fair up here in uh, the Chicagoland Wisconsin area and I walked into this shop that sells wooden cups and uh, they, they are really unique items. And uh, the chances that I would come across this at, at a Renaissance Fair, they only had one. Uh, but it actually is uh, a wooden cup with the uh, square and compass on it. And it's very lightweight. It's not super heavy. And uh, it actually has this holder on it that goes on my, on my belt. So that the cup actually hangs off my belt. Um, I bought my first kilt that year, so uh, I've got a belt that goes on this and it hangs right off my waist. And uh, wherever I stop at the different stands, I, I pop this off and I kick off this dust cover and I have them fill it up with meat or whatever else. And uh, it's a really nice cup, it's really fun, it's really cool. But what was neat was it was the first time I'd ever gone out to this Renaissance Fair with my kids and we had a blast. Um, if you guys ever get a chance to go to one of these things, it's really a lot of fun. The performers are great. But this particular cup, um, I chose a, a dust cover that had an infinity symbol on it. I don't know if you can see that. I hope so. And, uh, yeah. So, that's that. But also, this led to something else that I received, actually, as a gift to kind of complete the ensemble of my guilt. Um, I received an inquiry from a good friend of mine, Brother Justin. And Brother Justin was not a brother at this time, and he had made an inquiry into joining. So he asked about it, I got him in to uh, Rising Sun Lodge, and he went through the degrees there. And one of the gifts that he bought me as uh, somebody who helped him go through the degrees was this. And this is something else that is uh, for the kilt, um, but it also has kind of this shoulder harness thing and these two clips on the back. So this actually usually will get clipped right in front of the kilt. And uh, it's just a nice leather bag. It's pretty cool. Uh, but I love it because uh, when we go to the Ren Fair, uh, my kids and I all will get dressed up and I'll have the kilt on and some Masonic t-shirt. And I feel like I'm the uh, Masonic representative at the, uh, the uh, Ren Fair. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, and 
that's it for this week. So I, I hope you like these. I hope uh, the video is not coming out too late. Pulled aside last night and I was up way too late working in some on some Photoshop projects. So again, sorry for the late video. And uh, we'll talk to you guys all in just a couple days. Thanks again for watching. And if you like these videos, consider subscribing, liking the videos, and don't forget to send in your own Masonic Curator video. The submission guidelines are on MasonicCurators.com. And that's it. Later, guys.